Hey kids, Miss Kulkani here. So we are going to continue with our unit 2 chemistry calculation. And in this video, we are going to talk about a very important concept which is the dimensional analysis. We use this a lot in many calculations. So what it is and how do you work on that? We are going to find out in this video. Now there are some key steps in working on these problems. Number one, we need to have some sort of equality. So maybe if you are going to buy oranges, you have a price per pound. So maybe it's two dollar per pound. Your equality becomes two dollars equal to one pound of oranges. So that's called equality. Then second thing is a very important step we need to have a road map. What's your point where you begin and what's the point you're going to end up? You always begin with given and you end what the question is asking you to find. So you need to fill this up all the points in between. But you go from given to find. The next one is we need to arrange all those units such a way in look at what we said crisscross fashion the whole idea whole intention is to cancel off all the unwanted units and by doing that we end up having a final answer with the desired unit it is that simple let's see how it works with the real example so we come across with these things a lot when we talk about hours, we need to find how many minutes are there and how many seconds are there. So this sounds like a simple question. How many seconds are there in 2.5 hours? And I want you to pay attention and try to learn how to solve this problem using dimensional analysis. So here's what I'm going to do. I know one hour, and I know you also know it, one hour equal to 60 minutes and one minute is equal to 60 seconds so those are our two equations then comes the roadmap our roadmap is hours that is given to us look at that 2.5 hours is given to us so that's a roadmap to begin with hours from hours where can we go we can go to minutes so hours to minutes once we are in minutes where do we go from minutes? From minutes we go to seconds. And that's it. The question is asking you to find seconds. Once we get this road map, we are going to write down all of these in crisscross fashion to cancel the unwanted units. And this is actually multiplication. It works well if you draw a grid like that. So beginning is hours minutes and seconds. See what I did? I just copied the road map, whatever we got, into the numerator part over here. And our next thing is, I need to cancel hours with hours. So we go hours to hours. Minutes I need to cancel. So I put minutes here and I stop there. Then the very important thing, I need to put that 2.5 hours which I have. So you get 2.5 hours. The next step after that is use our equations, the equalities which we got and plug those in. So we have minutes and hours here, 1 hour 60 minutes, use those coefficients and put those right there. So it's 1 hour, that's 60 minutes and over here it's 1 minute equal to 60 seconds. Once we are done with plugging those values. The next step is cancel those unwanted units. So there goes hours. We cancel that. The next one is minutes. So we cancel the minutes with minutes. And what we are left with is seconds. That's the unit which you are looking for. So we multiply these numbers and we get the answer in seconds. And I believe I ended up getting the answer for this as 
10 to the third so many seconds so not that difficult right let's do one more problem it's similar type of problem and actually it's simpler because what we have is hours and from hours we need to go through minutes it's only one step so your roadmap is hours to minutes I believe you already know now one hour equal to 60 minutes so here goes our grid hours and minutes you are going to cancel hours with hours so we get hours here you are always going to put the given which is 3.179 hours and using our equation equality what we do is 1 hour equals 60 minutes so those coefficients go there the next step is cancel those hours and then simply multiply those units and bingo we are getting your unit which you want in minutes and answer which I got for this one is 190.7 so many minutes okay let's try something different this is moles and molecules we will learn about this later in chemistry so there's an equation one mole equals and it's a very big number 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules and I write molecule as MLCL so what happened was okay cut this part that's our equation the given thing is 3.2 moles the road map is going to be simply moles equal to molecules that's all from moles to molecules because it's only in one step we end up getting from moles to molecules so take that equal equality into the grid and there goes moles then we have molecules here the moles given are 3.2 and I need to cancel moles so we will have moles over here and then you're going to use the coefficients for both these so this is one mole and over here this is 6.022 10 to the 23rd the next step is cancel the units which are same and we are ending up with the desired unit which is molecule so when you multiply all these numbers what we end up getting is 1.9 times 10 to the 24 molecules here is another problem suppose let's see we are going for a shopping and you're going to buy apples and one container one bag of the apple is costing 2.80 SOP we need to find out how many fought you need to exchange let's think these are the currencies SOP and fought are the currencies so we need to know the equalities and I'm going to give those values to you 2 SOP is equal to 3 twos. Twos is one more currency then we have 4 BEF I know it sounds really funny right is equal to 3 tons and we have 9 for is equal to 2 BEF now remember we need to find out a road map we are going to begin with the given so your beginning point is SOP from SOP where can we go we can go from SOP to TUS so next step is going to TUS remember your ultimate goal you need to go to FOD finally and there could be steps in between so from TUS we are already here we can go to BEF and once we are in BEF that's the BEF actually you can go to FOD so I got the roadmap ready and the next step is going to be 
just put all of these in the same order sub jizz bef and fat and then I'm going to cancel sub with sub choose here and bef here the given things 2.80 that's my starting point and over here I'm going to put the equation values 2 sub and 3 twos so I get 2 and 3 with 2's and bef with 3 and 4 values there and then fought and bef I use these values 9 and 2 after that next step already you know by this time you cancel those units and then your answer is in fought and that comes out to be I believe I got that as 25.2 fought so what do you all think it's easy right let's do one more last problem for this video what is the cost of 60 apples if three apples weigh 1.75 pounds and the price is given for the apples before I begin I am going to write the equations and clearly this tells me three apples equals 1.75 pounds and the price tells me that if I have 1.45 dollars with me I can buy one pound of those apples okay the main given thing here which we have is 60 apples that's the beginning point so the road map now begin with apples remember the end point we need to get cost we need to get money we need dollars that should be the end point from apples we can go to pounds and from pounds you can go to money so the road map is apples to pound and pounds to money when we get that the next step apples pounds and money over here apples cancel with apple so you're going to put apples here pounds cancel with pound and then you're going to check the equality and given so we have 60 apples to begin with so I put 60 there then we have three apples equal to so many pounds so it goes 1.75 pounds and three apples and finally the second equation gives me pounds and money so money is 1.45 and this is one pound once when we get that you know this step apples are gone we cancel the unit pounds are gone and then we are left with the desired unit which is dollars there okay so when we end up getting the amount there in dollars we multiply all that and what we get is 50.75 looks like quite expensive apples almost a dollar close to a dollar per apple but they look pretty delicious right so you already got that right how to work on dimensional analysis and look now here is Mickey and Minnie and what are they saying they are saying wow I'm so glad we are so glad that this part dimensional analysis is so easy so they are so happy they're ready for dancing and singing are you guys ready for dancing and singing well anyway I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in next video bye bye